Hey Jay, you then. In this uh, quick video, I'm going to uh, go through the four steps to get more leads using Facebook ads. So the first part we're going to look at is how you actually create your real estate ad and what you're going to do. So here's the model. Whenever we are creating our ad, we want to first of all grab attention. And then after the attention, maybe nurture some more interest into the ad. And then we're going to create more desire. And then finally, there's going to be a call to action that's going to be needed. So first of all, you can see quite here that we are trying to draw the attention by saying, look, there's a pre-listed uh, property here. Look at it before it comes onto the market. Um, also, if you have a look at the emojis, uh, the emojis just show that, hey, we are making it stand out a little bit. So we haven't gone overboard on the emojis there and things like that. So that's we're grabbing attention. Then we're getting um, some more interest by uh, going a bit more deeper into um, some rare opportunity, maybe saying where the property is, getting a bit more interest. And then we have to actually go through um, what is contained in the house to give it a bit more depth. And so we are creating desire. OK, desire is very important to create. And how we create desire is that you can have um, two sorts of things. So the first thing we can have is we can have a feature, right? So a feature says what something does. So we're going to talk about the house features, like the garage and um, the bedrooms and the windows. But that has to really translate so people can see the benefit. So people have to be able to see the benefits of um, what's in the ad, basically. So when you're describing there's a big garage, you just have to have in mind that people are thinking about, look, safe place for my car, okay? People can envisage that benefit. So that's the key. And right at the end, obviously, we need to have a call to action. So people are going to have to be able to action exactly what they see. All right. So that action is having um, a link that people can click onto in order to uh, move to the next stage. So that's our, the different stages. Obviously, part of it as well, the picture also gets attention as well. So we can't forget the picture. But what happens on the initial uh, Facebook ad, there's only one picture. People have to apply or people have to give their details to get the whole deck of pictures. That's how it works. So next, the ad targeting. So um, we're looking at men and women, not just men, not just women, but men and women. Now, you might think that it's better to target 27 and above, 28 and above. But the best thing to do is to keep it quite wide when you start your campaign. Keep the uh, campaign quite wild. And then what Facebook will do in the first two to four days is that it will allow you to um, see who is um, who's clicking, who is the most ideal age, and then Facebook will optimize that. 10 miles in the city. So look at that radius there. We're looking at about a 10 mile radius here. So you know, that's not too much of a massive radius. Uh, we, do, we don't want to go too wide if it's a big city. Not too wide because there's lots of people inside here and things like this. However, if you are talking about a more rural area, then a more, we will need to increase it to 20 if it's a more rural area. That's an if there. Now, Again, we might look at interest and we might think that there might be an interest of real estate or an interest of first time buyer or um, people who have gone to realtor.com or Foxton's or any other um, estate agent. However, what we found is that we don't include interests. We let Facebook optimize the interest. So we're quite wide, quite wide see who's clicking on the actual ad. And then we use the Facebook algorithm to help us to actually optimize to find more people who um, would like to actually um, 
move and, and get a property. So we let Facebook do the work there. Where do we place the ads? Well, we place the ads in two places. First of all, we want to in the Facebook news feed. Okay, so I just scroll in, in your on your mobile phone or or on your computer in and also the Instagram. Instagram and Facebook, they tend to work quite well um, in terms of uh, putting the ad there. Um, in terms of the sort of budget, well, we can start between 10 to $15 uh, dollars initially, um, maybe $20. And then what we do is that we give Facebook maybe up to four days to find the right type of person. And then when that right type of person is found, then all we do is scale up our campaign. So we start from a small amount of people and then we scale up the campaign when the right sort of person is found. Landing page. So for the landing page, what you find works is you put a picture of the property. All right. And then when the picture of the property is there, then we can sort of uh, get people to click, enter their details, um, and then they'll be taken to a thank you page. Yeah. This link right here will link back to um, the website where there might be more properties um, on there. And then the final part, we, there's going to be an automated email campaign. First step, we talk about, look, here's your link, showing you all the other 18 photos. Here's the address. Here's the asking price or giving the key bits and pieces. And then um, saying hit reply to this email for uh, more information, okay? Then again, you might ask a question. So how many bedrooms are you looking for? You know, maybe try and strike up that conversation with whoever the um, prospect is. Then maybe after a day, have you been pre-approved with a lender? Do you have a mortgage in place? After a couple of days, so, uh, were you able to check out the listing I, get, I sent you? So again, following up. And then again, you know, um, after six days, staying in contact. So these emails are absolutely automated to make sure that people stay in the loop, people um, stay responsive. And if people respond back after one of the emails, then automatically they're not, send in, they're not sent any further emails after that in terms of this listing. That's how we're working there. So those are the steps there. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, you know, get in contact with me if you've got any questions, if you want me to set this up for you. It's J.U. there. Have a good day. Bye-bye.